Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Knife Legion. Let's play some more of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, where we are on to our third part of the Griffin School Gear Scavenger Hunt. So, this is part of the world we've not really been to before, so we're going to have to go via Roach and travel for a bit. Hopefully we can actually unlock some signposts nearby. This is a part of Velen we've not really been to that much. We've focused on other areas so far. But let's chase these deer down this uh, path. And now we're going to head off this way, I think. Sounds like there's some wolves around. Ooh. Whoa! Okay, so the wolves behind us. What's that over there? Is that more bandits? It's probably bandits. Yeah, it's bandits on the path again. Every time we clear those out, then they always come back. There's some monsters down there. That looks like some dogs. Actually, there could be some loot here as well. Let's have a look at this. If it's just wild dogs, looks like a caravan. Got to run off the road. We can quite easily handle wild dogs, I think. There we go. These are pretty much one-hit kills at this point. Uh, sorry for sniffing. Hey. Hay fever. Always hay fever. More hay fever. Never seems to go away. Is there any loot here or just, just bodies and an abandoned wagon? Oh well. Still, we got rid of some wild dogs that are causing trouble for people. Okay, so Griffin School Hunt. Yeah, let's, let's get back on track. Is there anything there? No. Oh, actually, no, there is. I tell a lie. Sorry. I did lie to you. What are you doing? Why is the camera... Am I being attacked? There's a dog up the hill, but he's not interested in me. A couple of empty bottles. And some dwarven spirits. Go on, we're going to kill this dog. There we go. Dog down. There's another one. These are not very hard enemies anymore. One more coming in on my flank. Come on. Don't want to leave you on your own suffering, so I'm going to set you on fire. And we do get the crafting ingredients from these, so it's not... Oh, oh no, there was stuff on there. Couldn't see the mark of it. You know, we do get some useful bits and pieces. Raw meat for vitality regeneration. Crafting components. It's all good stuff. Don't know what all this is about. Okay, let's... Keep on going. There's a little camp down there. Slow Looks like it's been overrun road. by monsters, though. Well, that's not Faster. really what we're here for at this time. Uh, oh, sorry, Roach. I just put you straight into a uh, fence then. Now, Slow I think now I'm going road. off course a bit. Where am I trying to get to? I'm trying to get down to there. And there's a monster nest there I want to get around, because it's not really what I'm trying to do right now. We're very close, let's go on foot. We can hopefully find an easy path straight down. Whoa! Crap on a stick! Bear! Okay, you got a hit on me. Because you're an ugly bear. There we go. Bears aren't that tough. I've been playing the long dark too much and kind of hiding from bears a lot of the time recently. That was actually a relatively easy fight. There is there's something running around down there. Can't quite tell what it is. But we might as well check out this encampment as we go past. Ooh, there's some stuff moving up on my side as well. Those look to be neckerlings, I think. Yeah. Still, is there any loot here? No, doesn't appear to be the case. There's a wagon up there, though. And this is pretty much where I have to go, so I guess I'm going to have to fight some of these. What are you? You terrible, horrible-looking things. Oh, foglets. Okay. Have we fought foglets before? They are quite low-level to me. Yeah, 
Yeah, that disappearing trick of yours could get very old very quickly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm getting hit. Time to eat some of that raw meat I gave it. Ah, let me... Oh, there's a tree there. Well, I couldn't see there was a tree there. Because the game is trying to kill me. Hmm. Foglets do live up to the name, being Clouds of Fog and all. I'm not even sure how many are left. Whoa! There we go. You're down. That looks to be a lot of them, actually. These do drop quite a lot of loot. Any loot over there? Those containers do not look like they want to give me anything. We actually took a number of nasty hits there. I'm a bit surprised. Maybe I'm not as good as I thought I was fighting these quite low level fours. Okay, so this kind of abandoned encampment is pretty much directly where I want to go. Let's just check over here and see what else is about. Oh, there are some supplies I can take. A rope ladder and a mug. don't think I'm going to need either of those. Looks to be the general kind of junk that gets left behind by armies when they are defeated and on the retreat. But we're going to take it all because you never know what's going to come in handy. That water especially. It's a much more efficient way of regenerating stamina than the raw meat we get. Ooh, armor repair kit, that's cool. Ooh, there's a body of a soldier there. Dwarven spirit is always useful for uh, crafting. See, the game really does want you just to just steal everything. Okay, that was good. That was nice. We got a lot of little stuff. There's another chest. It is. Another rope ladder. Okay. Don't think I have a need for a rope ladder right now, but sure. Let's see. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to check out how much water I've actually got on me. Uh, why can't I see water? Oh, it's there. Uh, well, yeah, we'll switch those out. It is better than the raw meat. Okay, so this is where our quest takes place. This Lord's Castle. There's, yeah, there's still a few monsters around, but we can probably get past them quite easily, I think. So this place looks quite the worst for wear. Whoa, what the? Oh, and Dregger. Interesting. I wasn't expecting a Dregger. Okay. Um, let's see, what are they weak against? So they are insectoids. Dragon warriors and workers. Insectoid oil. Okay, well I think I've got some of that around. Let's see. Necrophage, enhanced spectre, cursed beast, draconid. I don't have any insectoid oil. Can I make any? I think we might want some. There appear to be a number of these guys around there. Dragon's Dream Bomb. Release, releases a cloud of gas that explodes when ignited. That's interesting. Enhanced Devil's Puffball. Yeah, we probably want to upgrade to that, so let's make that now. Uh, well, now, what I'm looking for... No, option, no. Enhanced Insectoid Oil. I need Insectoid Oil. Okay. What do I need? Ranagrin. Where do I get Ranagrin from? And why don't I have any on me now? Got plenty of dog tallow. Killing all those wild dogs does come in handy. Okay. So. We can actually go straight for the enhanced as well. With more Ranagrin and Hornwort. Okay. I'm going to pause the recording quickly while we do a bit of shopping. And I'll come back to this momentarily. Okay, so we're back, and we now have some Indrego oil. Oh, well, we have the uh, improved or enhanced... 
are you? Enhanced insectoid oil. So let's go ahead and apply that to our blade. Right, that's probably depends on how many of them are. This might not last the entire fight. So, oh, we found Hindhold. Okay, there's a bunch of workers, and there actually looks to be two warriors there. I don't like that. So I'm going to set you all on fire. Just like that. Whoa, okay. Got to be careful here. Oh, I'm poisoned. That's not great. Oh, okay. That guy had a bit of, bit of a punch there. Whoa, just in time that. Nice. Oop, okay, the corpse is kind of flipping around a bit, but we're going to ignore that. So that wasn't too tough a fight. We got a hit there. Let's take some water to get back our vitality. And loot up these corpses. So, are there any more inside? That's going to be the question. This place doesn't look very nice, I'll be honest. It's a bit gloomy. Is there anything I can set on fire? Oh, there is. There's also stuff to loot. Okay, let's loot up these. Now, we don't know where this stuff is going to be. We know that there's somewhere in here. Should be a diagram. For witching here. From the Griffin School of Witching. What is... Okay, those are some big... Spiderwebs. What? Okay, that's a dead horse. So something's been eating horses. Possibly the Indrega. And, ooh, I don't know what that is. Some kind of quest. Okay, we shall read that now, before I forget, because we know that's going to happen. Okay. I can't even read the title, so I'm not going to try. Uh, the book is burned. Only a few pages still intact. Uh, this is not in English, so I can't read it. That's a problem. But it's a quest item for something. Okay. I don't know what that's for, but it's not anything to do with what we're doing now. I'm guessing I'm going to have to go up, mostly because there appear to be a lot of monsters above. Although this might be the wrong way, I don't know. Okay, I was hoping I could burn away some of these spiderwebs. If it's a giant spider, I'm going to be very unimpressed. But we'll see. This might not be the right area. I feel I'm a bit... Oh, there's harpies on the roof. Okay, well, we found a monster nest. Interesting. I suppose I could deal with that now if I have to. We found a harpy monster nest. Okay. Whoa, okay. Right about shield. Wah. Two of them down. Harpies aren't too terrible on their own. Not when you can do a finishing move like that. Okay, there's one harpy still left. Let's try and. Harpies got their nest here. Yeah, let's destroy that with a bomb quickly. Run right away! Because it's going to go boom. Excellent. Nice little pickup for us. And there might be some loot there as well. Now I am aware there is still a harpy circling, but they don't seem to be too bothered about me. Ooh, harpy eggs, harpy feathers, talons, a skull. Okay. All good stuff. Unfortunately, this is not what we came here for. Ooh, the last one's spotted me. Where are you? Okay, come here. Uh. Bugged out a bit on the stairs there, but now you're dead. Okay. Is there anything else around here? What? 
There's another hunt? Oh god. Where did you come from? Gotta love the slowdown on that. Just die. There we go. You took a little bit longer than you meant to. This is very distracting from the actual quest we're on, but hey. I don't think this is where I need to go, although there is some apparent... Oh no, we found it! Okay. Interesting. I'm not sure if we went to come this way, but hey. Witcher George's Confession, a villain axe, and some crafting components. Okay. Let's read his confession. What's he confessing to? Ooh, that, that axe is actually pretty good. Plus 36 damage compared to our current weapon. So, Witcher George's Confession. I, the undersigned George of Kagan, a Witcher by trade, testify as follows. While travelling through Velen, I received a summons to provide professional testimony in the matter of the accused Bartislav of Lovefield. This Bartislav stands accused of causing several shipwrecks near the lighthouse which is, it is his duty to keep. Ships led astray by errant signals from his lighthouse have repeatedly smashed against rocks near the shore, and the lighthouse keeper is held to be responsible for this state of affairs. During the trial, Bartislav testified that he was diligent in the, in the fulfilment of his duties, and that the accidents were caused by night wraiths deceiving sailors with their false glow. Having investigated the area, I can testify that I found no trace of night wraith activity. There are likewise no signs of noon wraiths, mamoons, urn nymphs, or any other spectres in the habit of misleading weary travellers journeying by foot, sea, or horse. I did, however, find the catastrophe's true cause. They were not the fault of the night wraiths blamed by the accused, but neither were they the fault of the lighthouse keeper himself. The accidents were caused by local hooligans who have taken to lighting fires on the hill at night, and then robbing the ships that subsequently wreck, wreck upon the shore. I was put on their trail by Bartoslav's son, who showed me the ashes from their misleading fires. My testimony shows that the lighthouse keeper Bartoslav of Lufield is not guilty of the crimes of which he stands accused and should be freed. I also humbly ask for the bailiff to put the lighthouse keeper and his family under his protection, for in the light of the re revel revelations Bartoslav's son led me to discover, there will surely be certain parties which cause with cause for vengeance. I cannot undertake the task of protecting the family myself, for I have accepted a contract to kill a dragon said to be lurking atop the Crookback Hills, and so must return there post haste to kill the beast and complete my task. Signed, George of Kagan Witcher. Interesting. Well, that's kind of cool. That's a nice little backstory there. I like that. Uh, so, what is this here? Or rather, who is this here? Bullstick's letter and a diagram for the Griffin Steel Sword. Excellent. So, this is what we needed. And we have now completed the quest. Nice. Is there anything else here to have? Okay, so there's a letter that we found as well. Bartislav's letter. What was in Bartislav's letter? Oh, sorry, Bullstack's letter. May the gods smile on you and me, sis. Now I'm asking you to read this careful for what i got to say is important. As soon as you set hands on this writing, gallop off to that fence Kramer was based in Maribor. Tell him we've got some first class gear and Witcher sword diagrams to sell. Aye, I can see you now stretching your head, or more likely your ass, and asking, did I hear that right? You sure did. It was my luck to come to care for a Witcher who got one foot in the grave and t'other hovering right above. I was sat there looking at the poor man suffer in agony and thought to myself, he don't need this kit and these papers where he's going, while for us, that's the fixings we need to get us started in the world of business. If we sell them for the right price, that is. I, I hear you fretting, so stop. I didn't take everything. In fact, nobody will even reason what of his shite's missing. Sad, though, ain't it? This witch is a good man. First he helped the baronet solve the riddle of that lighthouse what was sending ships into the rocks. Then he killed that dragon ate all the peasants. Problem is, a dragon's no easy pickings, and our valiant hero got quite the licking taking it out. He's done for, that's certain. So soon as they bury him in the tomb on Crookback Hills, I'll head straight to your place. Come to think of it. I'm curious how they put him in their crypt at all, for word is a vampire's made it his lair. P.S. I also lifted a few flasks off the Witcher, but since they're not likely to survive the journey, reckon I'll sample them myself and see how that witch hooch goes down. Maybe we'll make a business out of that too. Ah, I see what happened here. 
you drank some of my potions, or some of Witcher George's potions, and then subsequently died because they are poison to you. You fool. Well, there we go. That is the scavenger hunt done. That was quite interesting, actually. We had quite a lot of good stuff there, actually. So, I hope you guys found this episode interesting. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, feel free to subscribe, and hopefully, I'll see you later. Bye!